even like last year, I know he said like when you guys went on the road, you guys still talk the game, you still analyze stuff. I mean, I feel like if you go on the floor and somebody's going <laughs> to the ball this morning, you, you get that kind of look at that ball easy. And uh, I mean, it's a lot of talk to you guys in the team. We've been through this before, so I feel like uh, just having those years under our belt. And then obviously, like I said, uh, we have a team in the relationship. I mean, it just carries over. How have you two both you said that other guys are feeding off of that because how much fun you're having in practice and things like that. Do you feel any sense of joy this year? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a whole year. Basketball uh, went down in one of the worst ways. Oh I play all the time. And, uh, yeah, it's just on the time. Uh, like I always say, he's trying to live in that time. I think it's since the past. You know, past competitive, so, um, you know, that's one of the things I love about him. Um, he's always he's a student of the game as well. Um, so we always, we always have a similarity with each other. It's how focused we are. So, you know, that relationship is, you know, like I said, uh, it just builds over time. Uh, Pat Bev said that every morning you'll send him a picture of you in the gym and then he'll send one back and you guys kind of compete to see who can work out harder and longer. What's that relationship been like with you guys now that he's uh, over on the other side? Um, you know, past competitive. So, um, you know, that's one of the things I love about him. Um, he's always he's a student of the game as well. Um, so we always, we always have a similarity with each other, just how focused we are. So, you know, that relationship just, you know, like I said, uh, it just built over time. Um, listen, Kawhi is the number one, um, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, I think I try to, you know, um, I guess, compliment him with being able to to take the load off of him. Um, you know, everybody say, you know, Kawhi, you are one in one, one A, one B. I'm, I'll publicly say you know, I'm the two. You know, Kawhi's the one. I'm the two. So that part we nipped in the bud. Like, there's no ego when it comes to that. Um, but with that being said, like, I believe in my talent and what I can do. And, you know, I believe on any night, you know, of, of what I'm capable of. Um, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. Um, that's what I try to do on the floor, is make the game easy for everybody. Um, whether it's creating, um, or just being aggressive, period, and, and making reads off that. Um, and so I think, you know, we'll go a long ways, um, you know, if everybody just know their role and know what, we're, what we bring to the table. Um, then, I mean, everything else is easy. We just roll, it, roll the ball out and we get after it. It's been nice. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I agree. We're not ready yet. We still got a lot of stuff to figure out. Um, you know, uh, just playing-wise. Um, I think the good thing, you know, you guys saw today, we were willing – Pass the team, guys were able to make extra plays, create for others. Um, you know, really, we, we shot you know, questionable shots. You know, within the game, it's going to happen. But I thought for the most part, we were looking to make plays. And uh, you know, that's, that's the good thing you'll take out of it. Norm talked about Kawhi just having a new sense of joy out there this year. And Kawhi said he agrees he does throw that new sense of joy. Have you noticed that from him, just how happy he is to be back on the court? Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, I, I've been through it. Um, it, it is like, a, you know, you get that grateful feeling of like being able to play again and doing what you love, you know, while we still can do it. Um, you know, so, you know, I, it's, 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 it's definitely noticeable just how much fun he's having. You know, he's, not to say he's never been that guy, like, you know, what you guys see is, is uh, the fun guy. Um, but, you know, he's been an amazing guy in the locker room. Joy is before this season, but I think now more than in, since I've been here, he's even more into, into this process and, and into building what we have right now. So um, I do think he's you know in a great place mentally, and, and he really is enjoying the game much more. 
John looked like he had a lot of fun out there, had that uh, spin move layup behind the back layup and kind of egged the crowd on. What did you see out of him, um, you know, both basketball wise and from a, from a joy sense? Yeah, I mean, that's, you see somebody that's happy. You see somebody that's happy, you know, enjoying the game. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, I mean, it's, if it's, when it's taken away from you and you don't know where you're going to go from there and you get an opportunity to come back to it, man, you, you appreciate it. And, um, you know, you see that with those guys. High rate like that. Um, I think because I'm still athletic that a lot of people don't think I am. So I can still dunk on people. So when I get in the paint, I think people come and challenge my shot more normally than what they will for regular people that's a guard. So uh, that gives me a, little, a lot of benefit. And uh, just being able to be strong enough to play through contact and finish and uh, still get my legs under me. So I'm kind of pissed that I missed a couple of easy in ones that I should have had, but that won't last too long. So, no.